Hi, my name is Britta Vineyard. Um, I'm 21 years old. I believe I am suffering from something known as Morgellon. So for the doctors that are saying no, they're faking this, they're doing it to themselves, aren't they from all over the country? It's not like they're just in one area. Right, the patients are from all over the place and they don't know each other, so you might think, well gosh, how could they all fake the same symptoms? And again, a one-word answer, the doctors who are cynics would say, the internet. You can go on the internet and find out what the alleged symptoms are for this alleged disease, and you could just fake them. You could just go to a doctor and say them, or you could create sores and stuff in fibers that looks like the ones on the internet. So the doctors who are kind of the naysayers here, they think the internet plays a huge role in this. It has bizarre symptoms, lesions that leave scars, the sensation of bugs crawling under the skin, and the most shocking, fibers that pop out of the skin. Mostly black and white, some of them were blue and some of them were red. Similar cases have been reported in every state in the country, but what is this strange sickness? There's no reasonable explanation for it. I know I'm not seeing things, I'm watching it happen. You know that all of this sounds kind of crazy. Yes, but I, I know what I see with my own eyes. This didn't seem like anything I had ever seen that was coming out of a human body. Um, I now have lesions and sores still on my chest. Go up my stomach, on my stomach area. I mean, this is a mystery. That's, it really is. They don't necessarily itch, but they, they do hurt. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> just the emotional and the physical part of it, you know, is just makes me not be able to do much of anything. You know what? Something weird is going on, and something needs to be done. He freaked out. He wanted to ignore it, which I wanted to too. But when it comes to your kids, you got to stop ignoring it. I, I haven't touched my mother since August. Here, red and blue fibers growing out of the skin. They think, well, that's impossible. This must be delusional. More gelons is not real. Do you think in a couple of years you might be eating your words, maybe research will show you're wrong? In this case, I don't think so. This is what people are pulling out of themselves, and the doctors are telling them that they're, that they're crazy. This is somebody who's picking at themselves, and people can pick at themselves for all kinds of reasons. So this is all in their heads? It's all in their heads. They're fibers, I believe, from the environment, not from inside the skin. If you do a literature search in the medical literature, there is no Morgellons disease. The skin symptoms fit perfectly with the same group of individual symptoms that we saw in patients with delusions of parasitosis. I've seen them, send it to the lab, they can't identify it. They'll say nothing. Dermatologists told us it was all delusions, although none had studied it. The neurological effects are the, the much more severe, life-altering, and potentially dangerous of the, of the conditions. It's a big jump from finding a fiber and producing a disease. You certainly would agree that there's a lot of suffering going on. Absolutely. No question about it. Your heart goes out to people like this. This is my medication. I'm taking this for uh, what I was diagnosed with from the first dermatologist I saw with uh, parafolliculitis, which is, I believe, a scalp disease. When I researched it, um, nothing like the symptoms I'm having. However, I do think it helps fight the infection a bit. I don't know which direction to go right. at this point. It's just pretty much ruined our lives. It's devastating. It's disfiguring. It's, it's mind debilitating. And, and it has ruined this disease I have found in the research has ruined lives.
I'm only 21 years old, and I'm still young. Um, I feel like my life has come to a halt, and not a lot of people are listening out there. So um, I just want to find answers with everyone else. Um, I want to be able to live my life again. We know that there is something real going on here. You're not delusional. I gathered all the information and ran to it with the doctors who refused to even look at it. After having never had any health problems before, um, I've been um, treated like I'm a hypochondriac, like I'm you know, delusional. It's not enough that you're suffering and hurting and you're an idiot and you're crazy on top of it. I mean, I'm really hurt, and I'm really sad, and I'm really scared. She said, I can't believe you did this to yourself. And I was like, I didn't. And I said, well, do you want me to come back if it doesn't get better? She said, no. If it doesn't get better, you need to find a psychiatrist. I would challenge any of these physicians who think that we are just feeding into the delusions to um, come and examine a group of these patients and um, see what I've seen. Delusion or disease? The threads of this argument continue on.